Hey guys, Steve Walter with Beamer Toyota in Nashville. Had a question I'm going to answer for you guys here. I'm going to do it really quick. Uh, and the question is, if you're going to trade in your newer model Toyota, how do you delete your personal information? It's actually very easy. So um, I'm going to show you this here. So I've got this particular, this is a RAV4 system. It's going to be very similar, just depending on which one you have. This is the upgraded system, the 8-inch system. I'll show you on one of the other systems as well that it's identical. But you can see here, you hit your menu button, all right, which would be on the side here. And it could vary a little depending on which toilet you have. But then you come over into this screen hit your down a couple times usually and you'll see delete personal data right here when you hit this it's going to say it'll be deleted for additional information blah 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 you can either do not delete or delete once you hit delete it's going to give you another chance to change your mind and then you hit this and it'll say you're deleting your personal data do not turn the vehicle off so you just kind of keep it on here what it's going to do is it's going to delete all your phones on here um, it's going to delete um, Sorry about that. I had the door open. It's going to delete your um, phones. It's going to delete any of the personal information that might be uh, housed within the vehicle. If you have your maps and anything like that, it's going to delete all of that for you for the um, uh, destinations. Once this is done, then you come back over and you'll hit Bluetooth. No devices are registered. It's going to look just like that. You come back to your home screen. Your home screen will look, you know, same thing. And now an app update is required uh, so it wants you to update the the system so then you hit your now button so this is how you would update to it'll download any updates that it has to you can always hit your download and background this is actually a good little uh, tidbit for us here too while we're here um, you always want to have the most up-to-date software in your uh, your computer here which is exactly what this is not just a radio uh, it's actually a computer so now you get your ability to install install it later you can see your details hit install it's going to say your app suite won't be available some of them say navigation won't be available um, it just it'll give you some type of a warning that uh, things won't be available but you'll notice this is very quick most of them are most of them i mean don't take more than a, a couple of minutes to actually update Boom, now you're completely updated. You deleted all your personal data and you're good to go. So like I said, if you guys would like, I can show you on the other screen. There's very few options. Keep in mind the, the radios tend to be very similar. So they're gonna be very close in um, operation. They're just, you know, a few variants obviously to it. So this this right here is an LE RAV4. It's your most basic level of the RAV4. So if we pop over here, you'll be able to see this is the smaller screen, all right? So what we have here is if I turn this one on with the smaller screen, it'll start up the same way any of the other ones do. It'll give you a Toyota symbol. It'll give you a caution thing to watch your surroundings, of course. Um, and then obey traffic rules. Hit your continue, you'll pop into here. Same thing, hit your menu. Menu, setup pop into your setup here you're going to see the exact same thing as you come down it's still it like i said it looks identical it works identical it is uh an identical type of software so um now your next question might be um does my car have this how do i know which one has this um if it looks similar to that and and this is the easiest way to tell i'm going to actually pop you back over here i'm going to turn this down a little bit if i if you hit your home button and you get this look to your screen. The old screens actually looked different on your home screen. If you have this look, chances are you have a system that will work this way. Um, if it looks a little bit different, if you have a CD player um, and it's not a Camry, then it's probably going to be the not the system if you have a CD player. There are two Camry systems that have a CD player up to 2020 and then that went away. So it is possible that this would work on a Camry that has a CD player, but it would still look like this screen on those particular Camrys and it would be on an 18, a 19 or a 20 Camry. So that's the way to tell which one you have. Now, if you have the other ones, there's actually a very similar process for it. You still go into your setup. You still, you know, go down to the very bottom, still delete personal data. It still works the same way. It just won't look exactly like this. So um, 
Hopefully I've helped you guys to understand this a little bit more. Um, of, you know, and you always wanna make sure that you delete your personal data. Um, when you trade in a car, I will tell you that I normally do it for my customers and a lot of times I will do it right in front of them because I want to make sure that they know that I've done that for them. Um, whether it's a Toyota or any other car, some cars do it a little bit differently than others, but delete your personal data off of there, delete your addresses, everything else. I'm not saying that anybody would do anything nefarious or whatever, but I don't want my information out. I'm pretty sure you don't want yours out. So that's why I'm gonna make sure I delete it for you. Um, and part of the process usually of reconditioning a car for being able to trade it uh, or, or uh, to sell it as a trade-in um, is to make sure that you've cleared that system. Does it always happen? No. Um, one of the first things I check when I'm showing a car when it's on the lot is to make sure that that system's been cleared. So um, there's no reason not to do it, but if you do it yourself, so the last thing you do, you're cleaning out your car, you're getting ready to trade in the car, and you you know cleaned out your glove box, make sure that you know, grab any personal information, leave the books. There's nothing that's gonna help you with the books. Leave the books. Um, but grab your registrations, your insurance cards, anything that's got your name or address on it, grab that stuff. It's all personal information that people can use for stuff. Make sure that you guys protect yourselves uh, and your information because there are some dealerships out there that may not. So um, just we'll all understand that that is the truth and we'll, uh, we'll go from there. But um, this is the way to delete the information off of the computer screen. Uh, there's no real reason to delete things. Like if you, if you looked in the center and you see, um, I'll kind of zoom here a little bit, but if you see like your, you know, average or whatever, well, you can come over here and you hit this and you can delete, you can where, well, that doesn't have anything personal on it. There's no real reason to delete that. But anything that you've got up here, you, you know, for your, your phone. Now, this will show you there's no phone connected here, right? But there is actually a phone on here. So, and, and it would be the initial test. So, there's, actually, there's not. So, sometimes they have the initial phone that stays on there. But it's looking for it. There's not one on there. But if there was one on there, then you can obviously see that that one doesn't have one. But your setup, you definitely want to get rid of it. You can customize all kinds of stuff on here, by the way, guys. Um, but that delete personal data. Here's something else that a lot of times we want to do. Hit software update. Now you can check for update. So um, what it's going to do is it's going to confirm, is there a new software available? Like the other one that you saw where it said to download that update, it'll give you a pop-up a lot of times if there is an update. But it doesn't necessarily do it like right as there is an update. If you have an issue with the radio connecting to your phone, if you have um, something like that, and this one says unable to update, all right? So I'm gonna try it again, but um, there could be a reason to do it. So, um, but it will look for it. It'll try to find it. And you also need a digital signal in order for it to do the update. So if it doesn't notice a signal, if it, if it doesn't have a signal it can download on, um, it'll tell you that you can't update it at that particular point. Um, drive to where maybe you have a, a better signal and, and kind of go from there. So actually, and if you looked at it, so let's see, this one's got an automatic update check. But if you looked at it, it showed audio right here. So um, you can see the history, see if anything was updated. There's nothing that's been updated. So this one probably needs it. Um, but uh, it just can't see a signal right now, I guess. So um, try it one more time just for kicks and giggles. But um, update your software, uh, delete your personal information. Oh, something else. While you're on Apple CarPlay, um, I've had people ask me, all right, so they said, um, so here, current software is up to date, not necessarily to update. So it found the signal and it, and it checked it and it noticed that it has the current update. So didn't need to update. The other update would have saw the other screen. So anyway, back to what I was just saying, and I've had people ask me this. Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, what about my information that I've used in that? That information is on your phone. That information is displayed on the car, but that information is on your phone. So you do that update that I just, or that uh, uh, clear personal data, it'll clear everything that the car knows about you. Um, but as soon as you unplug your phone, you don't have that uh, information that CarPlay had for the phone. So CarPlay doesn't like download that kind of stuff into your phone. It actually, it's 
giving the information to the screen and the screen is displaying it. That's probably the easiest way to say it. So the screen's telling you what the information is, um, but it's not actually like downloading it or I don't know how to actually explain it in a way that would be um, kind of easy like I try to make things. But CarPlay, as soon as you unplug it, that information's gone with your phone. That's the easiest way to put that. Um, Android Auto, same thing. Unplug it, all that stuff's on the app on your phone that communicates to the Toyota system. There's nothing, if I, if I pop in here, right, and I come in this way and I'm looking at it and I look for apps, I don't have a phone connected, it's gonna sit here and spin and look for apps, right? It ain't gonna see that. If I hit phone, there's nothing that's paired, right? If I come over into menu, there's, there's no CarPlay that's lit up. There's nothing that's uh, over here to show you CarPlay. You have to have it plugged in for CarPlay to work. Um, it's just, it's not going to have that information in the system. So hopefully that helps you guys. Um, when you're talking about CarPlay, when you're talking about deleting your personal information, you definitely want to be as safe as possible um, and delete your information if you guys can. So, um, or if you guys remember, um, if not, and I hope the dealership does it. I will do it for you. If you buy a car from me, definitely reach out to me here at Beeman. Uh, Steve Welch, I appreciate every one of you guys for liking and subscribing to me here. Um, hopefully this has been informative. I made it a little longer than I planned on, but uh, had a couple things pop up as we were going like I normally do, but uh, just giving you guys information to uh, make sure you guys are good to go. Steve Welch from Beeman Toyota, like, subscribe. Appreciate every one of you guys. Hope you have a great day. We'll talk to you soon.